All right, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about triage and how do we as firemen um, see this chaos and kind of have a game plan for it. And this is what we train for. So basically we have all these people that are exiting the aircraft. And there's nobody guiding them at this moment. And so the fire crews, we have three minutes. We train to be on scene under three minutes. Um, which this, based off this video, the air, um, the airport fire department does respond. You'll see them in a little bit. But for us, you want to have an engine. We have an engine that doesn't carry water, so it's faster to get on scene. And they're carrying, um, we also have triage trailers. So a trailer that has all backboards and medical supplies along with our personnel, our firefighters. We all come in on one truck. And we would ideally want to come in and help with those at those slides at the bottom. So we would be helping people exit right around here. We'd be standing. We would have maybe one or two firefighters here, one or two firefighters here as they're exiting. Um, this can be a very slippery and uh, injury prone area. So this is where we would be sitting and um helping people evacuate and telling them where to go, directing them. So we try to keep people walking wounded. So most of these people are walking. Um, so we would try to have one truck that is, uh, uh, we have our loudspeaker um, coming from the microphone out of our trucks and we would tell them, okay, everybody who can walk and hear me, um, walk to me. So we would have all these people kind of coming to one area and maybe do the same thing on this side. And then that way we can get a count of how many people have left the plane and we can keep them together and organized. I mean, it's easy to talk and say, I mean, this is an ideal situation. The fire department's not even here yet. So um, it is hard when the aircraft decides to evacuate. I mean, they need to get people out immediately. And so um, ideally you'd want to contact the, um, the airlines and then see how many passengers are on the aircraft. So you have a total count. And then using that total count, you would start gathering the people, getting their, um, getting them in one area. And then if based off of what you see, if they have minor cuts, they would, but they're still walking and they're able to talk to you. They're not, um, you know, they're not have altered mental status or anything like that. They would be a green. If they have minor cuts, they would be a yellow. And if they had life threatening injuries, they'll be a red. Um, or a gray or a black and black means they deceased and didn't make it um, so that would be one way we call triaging the people they do it in the military it's basically a way to help the most amount of people um, in the shortest amount of time because if we find one person that's really injured and we focus on that one person then there's a lot of other people that could could need care that aren't getting care so it's better to just kind of prioritize the people and see who needs the most help and the people that are in the most dire shape those are the people that we would have evacuated to the hospital first and that's the best way that they've found to get people that need the help the fastest um, and then those who can kind of wait they can um, you know sit here maybe we get them hydrated and um, a better medical assessment um, and then meanwhile, the firefighters are also with the water putting out these fires, but this can happen simultaneously. So you can have triage happening down here, firefighters helping with the evacuation process, and then you could have the other firefighters in the trucks putting water and um, helping to stabilize the aircraft and also um, extinguish that fire. Um, so you can see there are some people working from the airlines um, that are helping. Here comes the fire crew. So they're going to be working on um, trying to drive through this um, maze of people and equipment and then also putting out the fire. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, this is a, a very crazy, chaotic um, situation. That's why we have our airport emergency plan, which we try, we go over every year and we do our triennial drills as airport firefighters where we practice these types of things so that we can be the calm during the storm. When everybody else is panicking, we can come in, put out the fire, and basically try to get some organization to this chaos. Um, but 
that's pretty much it. So you have your chiefs that are going to be talking to the media. You're going to have um, a lot of medical, maybe maybe even helicopters to transport people out of there quickly. Um, you're going to have medics and a lot of different airport personnel on scene. So there's going to be a lot of different people. So we have staging areas where you can keep the people that are trying to help, keep them organized. Um, the people Only let the people that need to be in this kind of hot zone area. Um, police, the police will enforce it and kind of keep people out, keep media out, and then let everybody that needs to be in there do their jobs. And then um, you'll be tagging those people. So we have ribbons and tags. And so if this person was a green, he would get a green ribbon around his on his arm or her arm. And then you would have the total count of from the airliners. And then you would have a count. And if people are leaving to the hospital, you would count how many people left and then also their names. And then when they arrive at the hospital, you would get a count there to verify that they have gotten to the hospital. And then you slowly start, you know, managing the scene and the chaos gets less and less. And then um, more and more people come to help. And then, um, yeah, and that's kind of how it works. Track, but the main thing is you track, keep track of where all the patients went because that's what's going to be the most cause for headaches down the road. Um, contact the airlines and then the airlines also contacts the passengers families and make sure that they understand what is happening as well and where their family members went so i hope that makes sense and you enjoyed this video if you have any questions and comments you can leave it down below and see you next time